Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. My name's Otty for those who are new here and it's coming up to that time of year again. It's A-level results day on Thursday. <laughs> And as I've just finished my first year of uni, well I actually finished in May, I thought I would do a video on some things I wish I knew before starting uni and moving into halls and things like that. But if you haven't already, please subscribe down below. And apart from that, let's get into the video. So my first bit of advice would be, First of all, move into uni halls. So if you're moving away from home, 100% move into uni halls just because that's where most first years live. So it's easy to make friends because there's so many new people. And also make your room as homely as possible. So when I first moved out, I used to get homesick all the time. I love being at home. I miss my mum, my dad. I miss all my family. So doing things like making the room cosy, putting up fairy lights, as cliche as it is, and putting up photos really does make you feel more at home. So I actually do go to Manchester Met University. So I'll insert a video now of the halls I stayed in and what they look like and what my room looked like. So as you can see I had a lot of decorations up and it really did help just to make me feel a lot more at home. Okay, so moving on from that, something that I really, really wish I knew before moving into uni was do not take your whole wardrobe. I literally took summer clothes, winter clothes, dresses, heels no you don't need all of that you need so you move in, in september don't you so only really take your winter clothes otherwise one they don't fit in the tiny tiny wardrobes they give you in uni accommodation and two i only wore about 50 percent of the clothes i took so when it came to moving out it was just a nightmare because i had bags and bags of clothes and it was just a waste of time because i hadn't even worn them they'd just been sat in my wardrobe for a year so only take clothes for the season it's gonna be so if it's summer take summer clothes winter winter clothes sticking with the clothes theme girls you do not need to take heels one pair of black heels because obviously black goes with everything is more than sufficient because when you go on nights out you're wearing trainers you're not wearing heels you might wear heels if you go out on a saturday night to a nice bar or something but that is it once a year you do not need to be taking your whole heel collection because they're just going to be sat there collecting dust and same with my last point you're just going to be bringing bags and bags home from uni which you didn't even wear so it's just a complete waste of time you 100 percent need to take a pair of sliders Sliders at uni are your best friend. Honestly, all the floors are sticky and gross, so you wear them inside your flat. But also, like, if you just pop into your local supermarket at night, like, you know, the little ones, the small supermarkets to get some chocolate or your dinner, you do not want to be unlacing your trainers, lacing them back up. You just want a pair of sliders you can slip on and run downstairs, pick up a bar of chocolate and come back up. Because for the first semester, I didn't have any and I regretted it because my socks would get sticky on the floor and I'd spend so much time trying to like lace up trainers just to run downstairs and pick up a parcel or take the bins out and it was just a nightmare. So sliders are your best friend. Take a pair of sliders. If you don't own any, go to Primark and buy some now. So the next thing I'm taking on board this year when I move in, I would recommend you move in early. So normally you'll be given a couple of slots you can pick from and they're like our slots where you can move all your stuff from your car into your flat. If you can, pick the earliest one possible. That way you get the best cupboard in the kitchen. And I know people, like the last people that moved into my flat had no <laughs> cupboard space at all. It was horrible. I felt sorry for them. Like we all had to move our stuff around to give them cupboard space. 
because in my flat the kitchen cupboards weren't numbered with your door number so everyone just shared cupboards but if you were the last one you ended up with the worst cupboard like the one under the sink and no one wants this cupboard under the sink so move in as early as possible just so you can get settled you can get the best space and then also you're there to meet all your flatmates first so I moved in at one and it was a nightmare do not move in late if you can help it now when moving in I actually created a snack drawer and I think a snack drawer is, oh my god, it's a dream at uni. So in your desk, normally you'll get like a set of drawers. Keep one of them for snacks because if it's late at night and you don't feel like leaving your room, then you can just grab something. And also if like you're not very well and you don't want to mix with your flatmates, You've got, you've got food there, ready to go. You just don't want to like be in that situation where you're starving but you can't be bothered to go in the kitchen because you might bump into people and you don't feel like talking or you're really hungover or whatever. So keeping things like chocolate, crisps, even like crackers, um, just bits and pieces like that is really helpful, especially after a night out. Now, everyone's obviously heard of Freshest Flu, and <laughs> I didn't really believe in it before I went to uni, but trust me, it is a thing, and don't even try and avoid it, because you're going to get it off someone, whether you're going out or not. Just because you're mixing with so many new people from, like, all over the country, you're going to get ill, and it's horrible. It is horrible. I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. It's horrible. So make sure you're stocked up on like vitamin C, paracetamol, all those things that are going to help you with a cold. Because trust me, after a week of being there, you will need them. The next thing I wish I knew at the start of uni because I learned as I went along and I started actually doing this in about January time. So say yes to everything whether it's a night out, whether it's a sample sale, whether it's going to the freshest fair, going out for dinner, going for a coffee, even if you don't fancy it, say yeah. Because when you're new, it is scary and like sometimes you just wanna be on your own and hide away, but don't because you will just regret it. One of the things I did which I didn't wanna do because I was hungover was go to a sample sale and at my uni brands like Pretty Little Thing, Misguided, I saw it first, all did sample sales and I went to the I saw it first one and honestly everything there is like £5 and under so I got my whole winter wardrobe, it was really good so so I didn't want to go to that and I'm glad I did because I got so many new clothes it was definitely worth it go to as much as you possibly can because once I started doing that I just enjoyed uni so much more and had the best best time you'll only regret staying in on your own watching Netflix being sad you won't ever regret going out and meeting new people okay if you're going out and you want to start drinking and you know having a good time just know your limits because this is also something that I did not know before starting uni and I feel bad because I did ruin a couple of people's nights because they had to see me home but you just get a bad name for yourself and at the end of the day it's embarrassing it's not cool it's not big it's not clever it's just embarrassing and people don't like you for it they don't want to go out with you so know your drinking limits um, if you've never drank before then take it easy and also it's just dangerous to get that drunk because I knew people had to go to hospital and things like that so just be careful and if you want friends don't be going out getting paralytic because they're never going to want to go out with you again. I knew from experience so don't make the same mistake as I did please it, it, you'll regret it. When I first moved into uni a lot of people were like best friends with their flatmates that they lived with in first year but don't worry because that's not always the case. So if you don't get on with your flatmates, luckily I did, but if you don't, then don't worry because you'll make so many new friends at events, at socials, just in your uni seminars and lectures. So don't worry if you don't get on with your flatmates, it's honestly not the end of the world. But just be polite and don't be rude, otherwise it will make your year of living there very, very difficult. And finally, I know it's obvious, but go to your lectures. 
because I know people that didn't go to our lectures and they failed so you don't want to have to reset first year so go to your lectures go to your seminars and also it's a really good way to make friends all of my best friends from uni I made through going to my lectures and seminars so definitely definitely go to them if you made it this far thank you so much for watching another one of my videos if you are getting your a-level results on thursday good luck and if you're worried about uni don't be because honestly first year was probably the best year of my life and if you're wondering whether to go to uni or not and you're undecided i would 100 percent say go it was definitely the best decision i made and it puts you out your comfort zone but it's definitely definitely worth it if you did enjoy this video make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe down below if you haven't already and other than that i'll see you in next sunday's video bye